All right, and with these happenings in Turkey, joining me in studio now is security expert uh, Delano Kilo, just to take a look at what happened there and bring it back home to the state of security in the country. Thank you very much for joining us, Delano, on Newsdesk. And uh, straight to it, we've just uh, seen uh, clips there of what happened in Turkey. And many would ask, uh, why an airport? Is this like a new strategy that uh, the terror groups are adapting? Uh, first, I think, Akisa, important to convey our condolences Definitely. to Prime Minister Erdogan, mm -hmm. as well as the people of Turkey, mm -hmm. as well as all the impacted foreign travelers that Definitely. were either killed or injured at injured. the airport. An airport is a sensitive installation, mm -hmm. and an airport forms a junction for trade, commerce, as well as a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. So the new uh, impetus that we now see from terrorists attacking airports is primarily designed to cripple nations' economies. Mm -hmm. If you can stop an airport, you primarily stop a lot of the essential business and services from mm -hmm. transiting through that particular facility. Yes. And in the case of Turkey, in the case of Brussels, we're beginning to see that terrorists are utilizing this mode much more. So it is relatively new in terms of that, but not as new as one thinks. I mean, even if we go back a couple of decades ago, we saw, remember, in Entebbe, where there was a terrorist attack yeah. at an airport. So it's going back to some of the very old methods of mm -hmm. attacking, mm -hmm. only uh, at attacking at a much faster pace and with probably uh, new methods and munitions. Mm -hmm. And this is the challenge. In Turkey's case at Ataturk, what we did see, Akisa, here, mm -hmm. is these three guys arriving at the airport in a taxi cab. So first of all, you have to ask the question, was the taxi cab driver complicit with what was happening? Mm -hmm. Number two, we also see that the perimeter was breached. Mm -hmm. They did not have any layered perimeter for these guys to actually get to the airport. Yeah. Uh, first attack happened at a parking lot. Mm -hmm. So one guy distracted people and then next attack happened across at the arrivals mm -hmm. and then the third attack happened inside at the kiosk slightly inside the airport. Mm -hmm. So first guy goes berserk in the parking lot, mm -hmm. draws the attention of security there, the next attack is happening at arrivals and then further inside. Yes. So, and the, the saddening thing here is that all suicide bombers, all the suicide bombers were able to detonate and, you know, cause explosions, mm -hmm. causing massive harm. Mm -hmm. 36 people confirmed dead, mm -hmm. 147 injured, mm -hmm. and that's yeah. mostly from shrapnel. Yes. So airport attacks, I think, the, you can see that the impact is huge. It's tremendous. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a sore in terms of what happens in airport security around the world and, uh, and very yes. concerning. Yes, definitely. And uh, bringing back home, uh, the Inspector General of Police has uh, issued a statement and of course an internal memo to all the security agencies in the country that we're now on high alert, uh, especially in our airports. So this happens every other time there's an attack. After you know, in the case of some of the explosions, yeah. a lot of these people who are injured or even died from those explosions mm -hmm. died because of shrapnel. Uh, we had a bomb expert flying out of the country this morning that mm -hmm. actually examined our airport on his way out and he called and he told me Delano uh, you know I'm not happy with the state and I recommend yeah. an immediate further assessment mm -hmm. because within every one meter that you get further away from an explosion you save lives mm -hmm. so we need to be able to put in place not only within and I've traveled through this airport yes. I've actually traveled through Ataturk mm -hmm. and it's a very very busy airport and the airport dynamics internally very highly secure yeah. but externally there was a problem. So there's a lot of work to be done. There's for a us. lot of work to be done on our side. All right. There's all right, a lot of work you. to be done. Thank you very much, Delano, for coming in. Uh, that uh, is a security expert, Delano Kilu, talking about uh, some of the measures that should be put in place to ensure that our country is safe and, of course, the air airports. And this comes after the attack on Ataturk Airport in Turkey uh, that has left uh, 36 people dead and 147 injured. All right. We'll take a short break at this point, but do not go too far. Coming back, we will be taking at some international and sports news. Do not go too far.